What's up everybody, this is your boy t Dubs back again, never stopping, never quitting, and I want to let y'all know that this is the t Dubs Show. Alright, today's topic is going to be, come out of the cotton fields. In order for us to seek God, in order for us to hear His voice, in order for us to break free from everything that is holding us back, to hear Him, to see where we need to go, we first have to break free from religion. Now I was going to do another topic today, it was going to be, it was going to consist of regain your authority but in order for us to regain our authority we must break free from the bondage of religion religion is holding us back from reaching our full potential in god because when we're hold, held down by religion by rituals by man-made traditions we're not able to operate at our full potential because we're not hearing his voice because everything is being being uh dressed up with different man-made traditions and different things that's holding us down that's that's keeping us from hearing his voice because we're so caught up in looking good and dressing good and acting good that we're not actually good on the inside that we don't have god in our heart you know i was talking about in a previous show saying that we were here to serve in order for us to serve and be effective in the ministry we have to break free from uh religion if you look at it if you go back to the uh to the new testament you saw jesus he was he said to worship in spirit and in truth, and he was also going around healing people. He was also going around helping and doing things and serving people. He was a servant. He didn't do according to religion. He didn't do according to what the laws were. He did what he, you know, what was what God led him to do. He did what his heavenly father led him to do. He said, I am my father, I am my father, and my father's in me. We are one. He did what God led him to do. He was led by the Spirit of God. So if we are to fully serve and uh be what god has called us to be we have to break free from the restraints of religion because religion is only set up for us to look good it's not set up for you know it's not it's not a actual thing that's that's going to keep you in line with god because a lot of times god may lead you away from a church to go somewhere else or to do your own thing but religion says you have to stay with that church for as long as you live and all this other stuff is it's not uh it's not really set up that's not really the will of god because god has may do a new thing in your life he may cause you to go to new places and different things so if you're going to do and fully serve and fully be free and have a uh, and live a, a the life that he called you to live a life of prosperity have peace nothing missing nothing broken nothing lacking we have to be able to free ourselves from the restraints of religion because it's meant to it's meant to hold you down it's meant to keep you in a box so you can't think for yourself it's meant to Keep you burdened, keep you weighed down, and keep you not, you know, it's like you're a robot. So, in order for you to function and be led by God, sometimes you have to do things that aren't popular to church folk. You might look bad in the eyes of church folk, but if God tells you to do this, He's leading you a certain way, we have to listen to God. We have to we have to focus on what God is telling us to do instead of being caught up in what, what religion is telling us to do. We there's a lot of things, a lot of practices in religion that, that aren't even in the Bible, that aren't even have they have nothing to do with serving God. They have nothing to do with what Jesus called us to do. That with, with what Jesus represented, because healing people and and raising the dead and things like that, you you don't see a lot of this stuff happen anymore. Why? Because religion has taken over. We are so caught up in religion. We're so caught up in looking good. We're so caught up in like I said in my previous show about we're here to serve. We're so caught up in in who doing this and who doing what. We we're 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 actually in bondage and slavery. That's slavery. I'm here to tell you right now that is slavery. If you're here and you're focused on on all of these things, you're you have a slave mind mentality. I don't mean to sound mean, but that's the way it is. It is what it is. If you're only focused on looking good, if you're only focused on who doing what in ministry, if you're only focused on 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 just being self-important, then you have a slave mind mentality. That's a slave mind because when you're for God, when you're free, you do what God tells you to do. You do what God calls you to do. God might not have you to have a service as conducted that morning. He might have you do something completely different. He may have you have do something else totally. We're not, you know, we're not gonna do it like this today. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, you know, what I'm saying we're gonna, we're gonna uh, heal people this, today. We're gonna do. You go, you're led by God. You're led by what God tells you to do. What God calls you to do. You're not just doing the usual programming. You're not doing that. If you're led by God, if you're not, because religion. Y'all do the same schedule programming every time y'all have service, every time y'all every day of the week. It's same schedule, this same schedule that is is repetitive. You know what I'm saying? It's not contributing to your relationship with God, because God wants us to have 
a relationship he's not really concerned with our religion he's not concerned with what we're doing to look good to feel good to act good to look good in front of other people because in actuality other folks can see through that stuff too that's why a lot of people that's why it's hard for people of religion to recruit others because folks can see through that stuff but we're going to take a short break and after the break i will continue this conversation and don't go anywhere because i will be back play the background I could play the background cuz I know sometimes I get in the way so won't you take the lead 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 so won't you take the lead 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 and I could play the background the background and you could take the It's evident you run the show, so let me back down You take the leading role, and I play the background I know I miss my cues, know I forget my lines I'm sticking to your script, and I'm reading all your signs I don't need my name in lights, I don't need a star on the road And why gain the whole wide world, if I'm just gonna lose my soul And my ways ain't pure if I don't live according to your word I can't endure this life without your wisdom being heard So word, to every dancer for a pop Star, cause we all play the background, but mine's a rock star. Yeah, so if you need me, I'll be stage right. Praying the whole world will start embracing stage fright. So let me fall back and stop giving my suggestions. Cause when I follow my obsessions, I end up confessing that I'm not that impressive. Matter of fact, I'm who I are. A trail of stardust leading to the superstar. Yeah. Captain of my soul, I was master of my fate Lost control and then I sank So I don't wanna take the lead Cause I'm prone to make mistakes All these folks who follow me Gon' end up in the wrong place So just let me shadow you And just let me trace your lines Matter of fact, just take my pen Yeah, you create my rhymes Cause if I do this by myself I'm scared that I'll succeed And no longer trust in you Cause I only trust in me And see, that's how you end up headed to destruction Paving the road to nowhere Pull your life out for nothing You pull my card, I'm bluffing You know what's in my hand Me, I just roll and trust you You cause the dice to land I'm in control of nothing Follow you at any it costs. And some call it sovereign will All I know is you the boss And man, I'm so at ease I'm so content I play the background Like it's an instrument Safest when I'm in your will and trust your word And I know I'm dangerous when I trust myself, my vision blurred And I ain't got no time to play like foolish games Got plenty aims, but do they really glorify your name? And it's a shame the way I wanna do these things for you, yeah Don't even cling to you, take time to sit and glean from you And it seems that you are patient in my ignorance If ignorance is bliss, it's cause she never heard of this Now, welcome back to the T-Dub show and where I left off we were talking about how religion can restrict you how it can keep you from having a relationship with God how can it keep you in bondage keep you in slavery 
let's go to what in uh in religion that is actually bad for the people and why people actually see through the things that religion actually does that is only set up to make you look good people see through it because the only thing a lot of uh ministries do well, i can't even say ministries a lot of rel the religion does they look down on people they shun people for doing certain things like if you're pregnant at an early age or something like that they look down on you they're not trying to be there for you they look down on you they make you do a public apology and that's what i never understood about a lot of churches who the heck makes people do a public apology because they don't know you know you don't know what that, that person had to go through you don't know what that person had to deal with you ain't concerned about their struggle you need to apologize to the church who does that that's slavery that's a slave mind that's a slave mentality i'm sorry if you're, if you're uh if you do this if you're all for this you're in slavery that's just being real the person that has done wrong they don't owe you anything only thing they owe anything to is god so if you for this i'm sorry you're a slave mentally because god wants you to seek him the only thing the only person you owe a positive is god because he the only one to tell you where to go so that that, that stuff that's out of there too because instead of looking down on people instead of looking instead of chastising people and condemning people we're supposed to be able to help people be there for people and instead of uh, you know looking down at an individual why don't we go to her and pray with her or try to help her or try to figure out how to help her get through the situation we're not even concerned about that we, we're so caught up in us looking good to care of us looking good and us being self-righteous and us being higher up than somebody else that we want to we rather step on somebody's head just so we can look good that's what religion is about they step on other people's heads and look down on folks just so they can look good it's, it's all a show it's all a gimmick but when you're in ministry it's different because you're serving you're helping you're lifting people up even when they do wrong you're still there for them you're still you know you're still you still showing the love of god you still you're still in that life and telling them hey i'm here for you no matter what whether you mess up whether you do good whether you do bad i'm here for you and we're gonna get through this and you push them to get better to get in the right direction we're not doing that anymore the only thing we do is look down on folks we we we, we talk a good game we preach but all the thing but at the end of the day we send folks back home to their problem that they have to deal with. We're not doing the service that, that uh, Jesus has called us to do. We're not doing those things. That's why I preach about it. I make sure all of my shows are in sequence. That's why in order for before we can even begin to tap into regaining our authority, we have to lift this restriction off our life. A lot of things we've been taught been taught wrong, especially when, when it comes to marriage, divorce, and things like that because a lot of church folk, I say church folk, not people of God, because a lot of them believe you can uh, you can marry anybody. If you're if you're let's say if you get somebody pregnant, that you have to marry them. No, that ain't what God say. God might be telling you something different. You don't need to marry that person. But church folks tell you, keep, uh, urge you, or you need y'all need to get married. Y'all need to get married. If God ain't telling you to do that, don't you do it. I'm telling you right now. If God ain't telling you to marry that person, don't you do it. That's religion. And y'all got to get married. Y'all got to work it out. No. You got to be. You need to be with who God tell, told you to be with. So you can be happy. So you can be. So you can have peace. God is peace. God is not associated with this misery. If you have. If, you're, if you have misery in your life. That's God letting you know. That something is not right. That something is off. You have, that's why he says. Seek him. To hear his voice. He wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to turn to him. He wants you to talk to him. He has called you to a life. Of having a relationship with him. So you can walk. And he, he can get the glory out of your life. Not other people. Because if we so caught up in that. And what religion tell us to do we, We're missing out on what God has for us We're missing out on, on our full potential We're missing out on what he's called us to do We're missing out on reaching And achieving all the goals that he set in our life Because a lot of times we have visions We have big dreams, we have big visions But sometimes religion, sometimes people in religion Sometimes our own parents can actually Weigh us down when it comes to that Sometimes folks that we even we have close to us They tell you no you don't need to do that You need to get a regular job and all that stuff That's slave mind mentality If you ain't trying to lift nobody up and help them achieve their goals That's also slavery 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 Stop it It's a it's, it's the slave mind mentality And we as people especially black folk We good at doing it We good at bringing each other down we're good at holding each other down we're good at keeping each other in bondage we're good at that we don't want to help nobody we don't want to lift each other up but then we want to hand out when things you know what I'm saying when things ain't going out but we want somebody to help help us out and give us a handout that's not the way it works we have to give if we want to be given unto us that's what it says in the word giving should be given unto you if we want encouragement we want all this stuff to help us we're not doing it to other people but we expect it how does that work come on somebody
How the heck is that supposed to work? We can't, you know what I'm saying? We can't look down on people in ministry. We can't turn people down and, and do all this and expect for people to support our ministry. It's not going to work that way. We can't expect people to give their life to God. We can't expect people to come to us and do right and do right if we're not giving them a reason. They have to have some kind of proof that God is real. Are you going to invest in anything with no proof? No. That's why Jesus did what he did. That's why he healed. He helped people. He, that's why he did what he did. To show them, hey, God is real. The power of God is real. That's how people came to him. That's why he had followers. That's why folks gave their life to him. Because he showed them. That's why you got a lot of people, a lot of churches that are effective. Because they actually show people that God is real. They show the power of God. If we're not doing that, how are we, how we going to expect, how are we going to expect uh, good things to happen if we're doing bad? I mean, I'm just saying. But anyway, I do have to go. And if you live for God, believe in what he say, he's going to take you a mighty long way. And more of the story is, you get rid of the religion. And next week, I'm going to talk about how to regain your authority that God has given you already in the earth. Be blessed.